In this video, we're going to take a look at evaluating functions. I'm going to be um, evaluating functions where we're plugging in something other than just a number. We're plugging in an algebraic expression. So in these two examples here, I'm given the f function, f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x, and the g function, which is g of x is equal to 2x to the fourth. All right, this notation right here, g of 3x, is telling me to take that 3x and plug it into that g function. Well, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at my g function. I'm going to see only one x right there. So that means that's the only place that I am going to have to plug it in at. So if I'm evaluating this, I'll still have the 2 that will be out in front. I'm going to take the 3x and I'm going to replace it for that x right there. So I'll have a 3x, and then that's going to be to the fourth power. Okay. Now, this is kind of like laws of exponents, power raised to a power. I've got a 3 to the first power. I've got an x to the first power. So power raised to a power means I'm going to multiply those exponents. So then the 2 will be out in front. I'm going to have a 3 to the 4th power, and I'll have an x to the 4th power. You've got to evaluate this here, so 3 to the 4th power and then times 2. You can check it on a calculator. We're going to get 162x to the 4th. All right, so a pretty straightforward example there. Okay, now let's take a look at the second one here. We've got f of x plus 2. All right, so again, we're going to take a look at everything on the inside right there, x plus 2. This tells us to put it inside the f function. Well, if I look up here at my f function, I have two locations where that can be put in. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to um, put it in and rewrite here. So I'm going to take x plus 2. I'm going to put it in for that x right there. So I'll have an x plus 2 to the second power. Then I'm going to write down the plus sign. This says 6 times x, so it'll be 6 times the x plus 2 with a set of parentheses around that. All right, at this point, it's just a matter of um, distributive property, FOIL, simplifying this out. So um, right here, I'll have 6 where I will distribute it. And then right here, I'm going to do FOIL. All right, now, if you need to rewrite this binomial, side by side so that you can see the foil, that's okay. So an x plus a 2 times an x plus a 2. That just may make it easier to do the foil. All right, I'm going to go ahead and distribute here. I'll have a 6x and then plus a 12. Implementing that foil here, I will have an x squared. Outside terms is plus 2x. Inside terms, plus 2x. Last terms, plus 4. This will just come straight down. I'll have a plus 6x and a plus 12. Then I just need to go through and combine like terms. My x squared, and I only have one of those, so x squared. Then I'm going to go through and put all the plain x's together. I've got 2x plus 2x plus 6x. That's going to give me a plus 10x. And then I can add the two constants that are left, which is the 4 and the 12. That's going to give me a plus 16. Okay, so um, couple straightforward examples here of evaluating functions and doing it with expressions that are not numbers. We're doing it with some algebraic expressions and plugging them in. Definitely thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.